Hey folks, so today I'm gonna to be upgrading my laptop here with this brand new Wi-Fi 6E card. And if you want to do this upgrade, just make sure that your laptop has a spare M.2 socket. And if you don't know what that means, just check the manual for your laptop or go onto the manufacturer's website and see if that is possible. Most modern laptops will be able to accommodate this. Now you will be required to do a little bit of surgery on your computer, which can be a bit intimidating. And it usually requires, as is the case for me, removing the complete bottom panel. And this tends to be just about removing the screws that hold that down. And when you've done that, just be careful when you do remove your bottom panel because there may be some ribbon cables attached to it that you don't want to damage. So just lift it off carefully. And what you are looking for is the M.2 socket. And in my case, it already has the Wi-Fi 6 card attached to it that came with the laptop. So what I'm going to do is carefully disconnect that. and also disconnect the antennas that are attached to it. We're gonna be reusing those antennas with this new Wi-Fi 6E card. And with that all out of the way, it's just a case of setting this new card into place and connecting the antennas to that. Just make sure that it is connected properly and then it's just a case of screwing that bottom panel back into place. And that's literally all there is to it. If I go ahead now and do a bit of a speed test here, we will see what sort of speeds we are getting. Incidentally, I am using Windows 11 and that's important because if you want to get the most out of this card, then you will also need to be using Windows 11 because Wi-Fi 6E is not compatible with Windows 10. That's Microsoft's way of trying to get everybody to upgrade to Windows 11. Um, the card will still work with Windows 10, but you will only be connecting to the 2.4 gigahertz or the five gigahertz bands, rather than the six gigahertz band that is dedicated for Wi-Fi 6E. But as you can see here, I am getting some pretty decent speeds. The internet connection into my home is a gigabit connection for download and 110 megabit for upload. So over Wi-Fi, I'm about 15 feet away from the nearest access point at this location, and I'm getting a pretty good connection. Ping's a little bit higher than I would like, but let's go ahead and do another test here. Maybe that was just a blip because I've just turned the laptop back on having first installed the card. Oh yeah, and that ping's come down to a more respectable level there. 11 is absolutely fine. And I am very happy with those speeds. Previously on the Wi-Fi 6 card I had set up here, I was getting about 300 megabits per second, although that card was also playing up and would often drop down to five or six megabits per second. So yeah, I'm glad that seems to have been fixed here. I think it's a worthy upgrade. Of course, you will need a network in your home that supports Wi-Fi 6E to get the most out of this card, but everything's backwards compatible, so this will work regardless of what Wi-Fi standards your network has. And this all seems to be working absolutely fine. It's certainly a vast improvement over my previous Wi-Fi connection from this laptop. And I'll probably be making this upgrade on a few other laptops uh, for the family as well, so they can get faster internet speeds. But thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. And I hope it helped.